Oh, that's weird. He's not working. Ugh. She. <laughs> oh my God, he totally tricked me. All right, guys, today I have journeyed out to Wheeling, West Virginia, where there is an enormous Spirit Halloween right here in this shopping center. This whole shopping center is absolutely gorgeous and just, it's huge. I can't believe the size of this place. Look at the style of this place. Look, we got a Bath and Body Works to close down over here, Label Scar, Bed Bath and Beyond, which is funny because I just filmed that uh, Spirit in the Bed Bath and Beyond the other day out in uh, Wadsworth, I think it was. But yeah, here it is. And look, this is only the second place where I've seen the Big Spirit Halloween sign like that. So it makes me wonder if it's a permanent location. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Let's go in and check it out. Hopefully we'll find a ton of different animatronics in here that we've not seen. I say that every time we walk into a spirit, but I'm excited. Okay, well first, right off the bat, I see Campfire Zombie which I've not seen in any stores before. All right, check it out, guys. It's actually smaller than what I expected, but there is some cool stuff set up in here, so let's go check it out. We got the Reaper's Wharf here, like we see in all the stores. Here's Bubba. I, and I knew he was coming, and he scared the crap out of me again. He always does. He needs to be in one of my thumbnails. I've not put him in yet. <laughs> Look at this, they got a brain in here. <laughs> um, and he must not be working because he's already sitting up and there's no pad to step on. He's usually looking down and then he like jerks his head up real fast and scares the crap out of you. Okay, we got this guy here, Rusty. Let's see how he's working. There we go. He's jerking around more than the other one that I saw. I like that. He's a lot louder, too. Some of the other ones aren't very loud. All right, we got Jack Straw here. <laughs> he, look at how huge he is. Like, he scares me every single time, no matter what. Here's one of my favorites, the jumping spider. Oh, what the heck? Wait. Oh, that's weird. He's not working. Ugh. She... <laughs> oh my God, he totally tricked me. Like, when I stepped on the thing, he went down and he sat there and then he started jumping like he wasn't gonna work and then he jumped at me all of a sudden. Okay, here we go. I collect this now, unneeded flesh, to feed my army of demons, so we can hunt for more. <laughs> I think he needs to be in one of my thumbnails, too. There must be different settings on these, because I noticed that this guy sometimes has a mat like these, you know, that you step on to activate them. But this one is set at motion activated. I think he's one of my favorites, and he's actually one that I think has worked in every single store I've been to. Usually you come across a couple that don't work, you know, like sitting a scarecrow over here. All right, let's move on. Let's go through here. We got this guy that I can never remember what his name is, Iron Rod or something. Somebody tell me what his name is, because I keep forgetting. And they usually have like the name plates or something, but they don't for him. <laughs> okay. Here we got Hugs the Clown. I like this guy. I love his purple hair. Let's see if he works. Hey there, friend. Welcome to the fun house. Come a little closer. We've got fun and games and <laughs> I love him. All right. Oh, look. They also have the Arctic Dragon. This is only the second place I've seen this guy. Arctic Dragon. Let's see if he works. There he goes. Yeah, he works awesome. 
Look at his eyes. Ice blue. <laughs> That's really cool. It's only the second place I've seen that one. All right, here's this guy, and they don't have a map for him. He's supposed to be moving all over the place and mumbling and grumbling. You know, I've said before that I wish that he would be thrashing around like this guy over here. I think that would make this prop so much better if he did. Speaking of this guy, go though, let's go see him. This is actually one of my favorites. <laughs> you don't have to activate him at all. He just is doing this all the time. I love how he's thrashing around. That's perfect. All right, and here's this guy here. Cerberus, I think his name is. He doesn't have a nameplate here, but let's see if he works. Yes. Good job, West Virginia. All your props are working except for one so far. I really want to see this one working with the fog coming out these guys' mouth, but somebody told me that uh, that they think the fog is like a fire hazard, like it would set off the fire alarms or something, so they can't actually have it going on in the store. Okay, that's it for this part, the SS Riptide. All right, guys, I said it the last time I was in one of these. I really, really like the Cobra Kai hat. And I think I'm gonna buy one. It's so cool. If I can get it off there. <laughs> okay. Look, they even have the costumes. That is sweet. I've not seen these costumes anywhere else either. I love that. If I wasn't a fat boy, I'd get... <laughs> I would get one of those. <laughs> That's cool. I've not seen the headbands anywhere else either. Just the shirts and the hats. I don't even think I've seen the socks anywhere. That's awesome. Yeah, that's such an awesome hat. I have to buy that. I would so regret it if I let this season go by and I couldn't get this hat then afterwards. Okay, let's go over here and see if they have anything else that's different as well as, I mean, as far as costumes because a lot of people have been telling me to keep an eye out and show more of the costumes. So, I don't know, let's look at this stuff first. Okay, we got, this is all Stranger Things. That is too funny, man. I don't think I've seen this one anywhere either. The only ones I've seen anywhere, in fact, all of these are totally different from what I've seen anyway. I might have seen this wig. There's a barb wig. <laughs> I've not seen this one. Uh, let's see. I've not seen this one either. That is so cool. I love those. Scoops Ahoy. Oh my god. That's hilarious. There's a Dustin wig. Let's see if there's some on the front here. Yeah. I may have seen this one some... No, I don't think. That's a pretty good one, too. That's not one that you could just go find in a thrift store. But this one, I mean, come on. <laughs> okay. Let's keep on looking. Here we got witch stuff. This is all Freddy stuff here. A couple of different kinds of uh, Freddy gloves. The Freddy mask. Let's turn him around there. It's a pretty decent looking mask there. Seen that one pretty much any everywhere. Let's see. We got a Chucky here. Some Halloweens. I'm not even looking at that one because I hate it. Worst one I've seen. The socks. What's this here? Oh, I got a misplaced Harry Potter. I know, it wasn't Harry. Oh, cool. Here we go. Oh, sweet. Yes. Adult Oogie Boogie costume. That's an inflatable one, too. Look at that. That is sweet. That is totally awesome. I love that. Okay, ooh, Jack Skellington outfit. What the? Billy Butcherson, oh my God, that's from Hocus Pocus. <laughs> People were asking me about Hocus Pocus too. And here's a whole bunch of Hocus Pocus ones. I have not seen these in any other store. They might have been there, but I just passed them up. But, uh, but yeah, look at this, all the Sandersons. 
That is pretty awesome. <laughs> the wigs, look at this. <laughs> so funny. Oh my God. But all right, here's Sally's dress. Let's go back to the Nightmare Before Christmas for a minute. They got the Sally wig. Here's the whole outfit. Sorry about the reflection on there, guys. Jack Skellington gloves, Sally gloves, bow tie. Look, they got everything, man. This store is really decked out, and I mean, I just walked in the door. I haven't even begun. Look at this, you got Billy Butcherson's head. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that is too funny. What's this one here? Oh, it's another Mary Sanderson wig. Oh, that's awesome. I'm having a good time in here. Okay, let's look at this one here. We got Scream. I love Scream. Child's Play. Uh, let's see. Here's our Jason stuff. Wish it was Friday. And what do we got over here? I looked at some of these the other day, too. I really like this. That's really cool. I just wish it was a, a hard one. Alright, let's keep on moving here, see what else we got. Okay, we got the Harry Potters, for anybody who wants to see them, here they are. All kinds of Harry Potter stuff. Look, it looks like we got all the all the uh, robes. Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, the whole selection. We got a lot of uh, clown stuff here. Of course, you know what? also is in the clown aisle. Pennywise! They always got a couple of different kinds of masks in these stores. That rubber one, that's just a plastic one. Squeeze that, it would crack though. And I don't see the other one that I really like. Um, here's the whole outfit. I think that one actually comes with the mask. Uh oh, somebody opened that one and tried it on, I guess. Hmm, okay. I think these are awesome, too. They got all this Ghostbuster stuff here. Look, Ecto Goggles. You got the whole deal here. The Ghost Trap, PKE Meter. There's the costumes. <laughs> you even got Stay Puffed. <laughs> and here's a Proton Pack. One year, one of my kids dressed up as uh, Ghostbusters. We just made the whole costume at home. Actually turned out pretty good, but... I mean, if you don't have that kind of time, it's cool that they got all of that stuff here. Uh, Overwatch. I don't know what Overwatch is, but I'm sure some of you guys watching do. Okay, now this is really cool. Second skin Spider-Man suit. That is awesome. My friend Leonard wanted me to show him some Spider-Man suits without just looking at it real quick. And this one would have to be my favorite, even though I haven't looked at a whole bunch of them because this is a stretch suit. So this is the kind that you would actually put on and it would conform to your body. So as long as you had a good enough body, <laughs> then that would look good. I couldn't put that on. People would be like, what? Or here's just a hood, it looks like. Yeah. And here's a Deadpool hood. That's pretty good looking. Get back on there a couple of Deadpool suits. Okay, there's Deadpool himself, and then this is the chick Deadpool. <laughs> okay, Let's see what else we got here. Superman. That's a pretty good looking suit right there, too. It really is. Okay, let's keep moving here. Okay, here's all the Naruto stuff. And somebody told me the other day it was too funny. In the comments, they wrote... It's not Ru <laughs> it's not Naruto, it's Naruto. <laughs> and that's the only way that I could read it because they literally spelled it. It's not N-A-R-U-T-O, it's N-A-R-U-T-O. Here's a Batman suit. Not too shabby. That one looks pretty good. Inmate suits, Batgirl. Okay, I'm sorry. I've seen this guy modeling a couple of these things. He looks like Zac Efron. <laughs> God, guys, it's Pickle Rick. Look at this. This is an awesome one. Rick Sanchez. Morty. 
That's cool. Assassin's Creed. They got a ton of stuff in here. There's no way I could look at every single costume in here. This video would be four hours long. Crayola stuff, Super Mario. Got this Fortnite stuff down here. Now look at this, I haven't seen this in other stores. The Fortnite mask. That's pretty cool actually, and I don't even play Fortnite. Hey guys, I almost missed these masks on the end here. More Fortnite masks. Tomato Head. <laughs> Deluxe Beef Boss Mask. I'd wear that just because I love cheeseburgers. There's a ton of other basic costumes over here. If there's any kind of costumes you guys want me to look out for, tell me and I will try my best to get those on film here. Because I'm going to be filming as many of these places as I possibly can. I love Halloween and these stores are only around for the season. So yeah, let me know what you want to see and I'll try to get it specifically in here. But let's go over here. I want to see they got some uh, some animatronics that are like older ones. Like this one right here, the Area 31 capsule. Look at this one. This is from a couple years ago. Look at that alien. <laughs> okay, we got the Talking Pumpkin Door Knocker, Talking Reaper, Talking Clown, and I have not seen this one anywhere. The Talking Tree Face. Oh, please work. Hold on. Oh, guys, I'm so bummed. The Talking Tree Face Door Knocker does not work. There's two of them. And neither one of them are working. I mean, they probably work if you put in new batteries. I'm not trying to say their stuff doesn't work, but for the moment they don't work, so we can't see how or what they do. I'm so disappointed. All right, well, let's keep moving on. Anyway, here's a cryo chamber corpse. I don't think I've seen that one anywhere at all. He probably he must just jump out of there and scare the crap out of you. I'm scared of all of these, man. <laughs> We got the ground breakers. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I think we've seen these in all the other stores. They probably want to kill me when I go around and turn these all on. <laughs> Man, people must have been trying these things out like crazy. There we go, Slimers. I don't know if I've seen this style before. I've seen the Slimer heads, but that's really cool. Okay, let's keep looking here. Vintage clown pathways. That's pretty cool. I used to have one of these, actually. You just push the button and see what it does. It actually crawls around the floor. <laughs> these are pretty cool. Zombie arm pathway markers. Ooh, look at that. I like that, that's really cool. I haven't seen this anywhere either. The animated zomb animated spooky tree. <laughs> he must be motion activated. Okay, let's see. We got the jumping spiders here. I love those. What do we got? Ooh, more it stuff on the end here. Okay. Mummy fogger, looming straw man. Here's Friday the thirteenth. Those are cool. Freddy's. I love those. I love Freddy. String lights. Freddy pillow. Freddy throw. Flying vulture. I haven't seen that before. Shotgun blast zombie. I haven't seen that. I have seen Menacing Molly. She scares the crap out of me every time. Look at this, guys. There's a whole bunch of them here I haven't seen. Okay, Tire Swing Zombie Boy. <laughs> I have not seen him in any of these stores. That must be from years before. Hail, hay Bale Bopper. Popper. Oh my god, I can't even talk. What is this? Fogging Basement Doors? Ooh. That's pretty cool. Roaming Creepy Bear. I haven't seen him either, but it looks like he's just basically on a Roomba rolling around. I've seen these. Sitting Scare Clown. He's scared me before. Arctic Dragon. Man's Possessed Friend. Oh yeah, it's, the, it's Bubba. Mummy Fogger, Sitting Scarecrow. Okay, let's see, Sitting Scare Witch. And hanging hell fiend. 
let's look at their clearance section a minute because I, this is the third store I've seen a clearance section in. I'm just curious to what is here. <laughs> a Robin costume. Okay, let's see. Anything else interesting there? Not really. All right, somebody was telling me to keep an eye out for steampunk, and that's not really steampunk, but I know they have it in these stores, so let me go look real quick here. Hold on now. Yes, here we go, guys. Here is a ton of steampunk stuff here. Go kind of slow so you can see it. These are pretty cool, actually. Never really got into ste steampunk, but I appreciate how creative it is. Look at the pocket watch, that's cool. Kind of a trench coat looking thing. Look at his hat. <laughs> it looks like that is the extent of their steampunk stuff right there. I mean, not just the hat, but all this stuff you see up here. And there's a pretty good selection. I mean, I don't know how many people are into steampunk, but look at that mask. Okay, let's look at some of these masks over here. Always got to look at the Michael. Oh my God, that is that one again. I hate it. The Halloween 2 isn't too bad. This is the one from last year. That's actually a pretty good looking mask. Uh, let's see here. Anything we haven't seen in masks? I think I've seen most of these, but something usually pops out that I haven't seen. Ooh, look at that one. That looks, yeah, it's even called Vintage Clown Mask. I remember my brother having a clown mask like that when he was a little kid, and uh, and it looked a lot like that. Okay, let's see. Here's our Silent Stalker. I mentioned this the other day because some of these are called Silent Stalker, and then the exact same mask is actually labeled as, uh, as Slender Man. So I don't know if there's like a copyright issue or whatever. Maybe when the movie about Slender Man came out, they had to change it. I don't know. Copyrights are a weird thing. Oh my God. <laughs> An Ellis elephant mask. That is too funny. <laughs> and a cow friend. What? Look at this. A zombie horse. <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> Werewolf animation. I like the animation masks where their mouth moves with yours. Those are always pretty cool. Look at the nun down here. It's called Nun For You. <laughs> oh my God. All right, yeah, and look at this. This looks like uh, the mask from Halloween 3. I know there's not a lot of Halloween 3 fans, um, but I remember seeing it when I was a little kid. And even though, yes, the acting kind of sucks, the movie scared the crap out of me, man. We got the haunted aquarium thing here. Let's uh, let's check these out. See if these work. This guy is usually motion activated. Oh, there he goes. Everybody has good childhood memories of the carnival. Follow me. I promise we will give you some new memories you will never forget. Yeah, some of these are set up. <laughs> there he goes. Some of these are set up to be motion activated, and some of them you have to actually step on the mat here. Let's see if this one's going. No, I guess not. His eyes and mouth are supposed to move. And then we got the twin chicky chicks here. Can you help us find it? I think they're creepier when their hair is hanging in their face. What is this one called again? Oh, Abandoned Annie. Apparently she's not turned on either. Experimental Eddie. Here we go. He's not too bad. He's just one of those that if you walk through a haunted house, you'd be like, okay, whatever, what's next? Oh, they don't have Demonic Dahlia set up over here. I haven't seen her anywhere in here. I wonder if she's sold out. She's usually set up right on the end here and scares the crap out of me. 
Okay, guys, we're going through the Spirit Aquarium in just a minute, but look, we got some more uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff here. People ask me about that all the time. I love the little Zero dogs. That is too funny. And look, he's on, a, he's on like a stick, so I think you can carry him around. <laughs> that is too funny. Zero. Boogie Boogie. Got some plush here. Okay, let's move over here. We got a Sally also. Yep. Hi, Sally. Okay, let's go on through the Spirit Aquarium here. This guy's not working. Here we go. Okay, we got a puffer fish. Ooh, he exploded. I hear the shark coming. He's gonna blast. Hold on. Let's get down here. I think it's right here. <laughs> Yeah, we got in here just in time for that one. Okay, here's our octopus though. I think something evil happens with each one of these. Like this one right here, watch. It's gonna, what the? Okay, this is the piranha thing here. And usually that guy swims by and then he gets killed by the piranhas. Let's see if they get him. There we go. <laughs> I love it. I don't know what happens down here with the puffer fish, though. Well, he puffed. Maybe that's all he does. There goes the shark again. And when you hear the music, you know he's coming over here. They tricked us with the music. Oh well, whatever. We saw it the first time. In the other ones, uh, fog comes out these little holes. And I think I've only been in one where that's worked perfectly the way it's supposed to. The big shark is supposed to smash up here, he breaks the glass, and then fog blows out here. And it, uh, you know, just like it really hit. It's really cool. All right, get out of here. Okay, so we got some more costumes here. I think these are all kids' costumes, though, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, another clearance section. <laughs> I've never seen two clearance sections in one of these stores, but this is cool. Adventure Time Finn costume. <laughs> Bubble, uh, Princess Bubblegum. Pretty cool. That's a ladybug suit. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's kind of a mix between a ladybug and, uh, what the heck is that girl's name? Uh, Hit Girl. That's what it may reminded me of. That's the closest to a kick-ass costume I've seen in any of these stores ever. I don't think I've ever seen a kick-ass costume offered anywhere. Okay, so people were asking me about uh, kids' costumes that weren't gory, and they do have tons of them. Here's Shimmer and Shine, Minnie Mouse, all kinds of Disney stuff, Harry Potter, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, look, they even have Ninja Turtles. All kinds of, oh crap, Jojo Siwa, heck no. <laughs> Inside Out, all kinds of stuff. Crayola, Shopkins. Here they got all kinds of uh, Toy Story 4 costumes and stuff. PJ Masks, Paw Patrol. I know my granddaughter loves Paw Patrol. Ooh, Sesame Street. All kinds of stuff for little kids that is nowhere near being gory. And somebody else asked me about, I think it was a cat costume for a baby but I, and I don't see any cats but I do see like the lion um, we got a tiger that's probably the closest to a cat as far as in these hold on let's look over here um, superheroes I don't see any cat outfits for a little kid look at this one though this was actually pretty cute a little purple monster I like that. I like all of these. This is like the greatest collection of, of little kids uh, costumes I've ever seen. They're all so cute. Look at the elephant. That's funny. Oh, and somebody else was asking me about the Hocus Pocus stuff. They have this basic collection in all the spirit stores. A lot of Hocus Pocus stuff here. And then, of course, when we first came in, we were looking at the, um, the costumes over there. You guys saw all the the uh, Hocus Pocus costumes. Those were really cool. I don't think I'd seen those in any other stores at all. Here's back to the Nightmare Before Christmas. I think that is pretty much it, guys. Wait, look at this. 
Fortnite Loot Llama. That thing just looks cool. <laughs> oh my god. And if you were wondering, this store used to be a Michael's. You know, all these spirit stores, they move into uh, former locations of other stores. And this one, I didn't know what it was from the outside, but it, it was a Michael's. So if you look past the spirit stuff here, you can see the stripes on the walls and that. That might kind of give it away. When I was in the H.H. H. Gregg, they still had all the signs up from H.H. H. Gregg. It even said, thank you for shopping at H.H. H. Gregg. That was one of my favorites. Oh my god, this is so cool. Hocus Pocus pencil toppers. That is so awesome. <laughs> I have to watch Hocus Pocus when I get home now. Guys, I'm gonna grab my uh, Cobra Kai hat here and hit the road. I'll probably be wearing that the next time I make a video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you get the notifications. I'm going to be making Halloween videos all month long. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.